but anyway, okay. Listen, <laughs> so great to be able to talk to you both today. Congratulations on the film. Uh, I was blown away, not just by the film, by your performances, those kids, we'll talk about them in a minute. They were unbelievable. Um, but I got to know, look, it's no, it's no secret. This is this is a family affair, this film. Um, Milo, it's your brother who directed it. Annette, it's your husband. So my first question is, who between the two of you got better treatment on set? <laughs> I think it was, I think it was split. I mean, I think it was split. I think, you know, I think we all worked as a family together and, and I think we all had our, our, you know, our, 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 our point of views on, on everything in it. And we all kind of collectively came together and tried to make the best film we could possibly make. So yeah, I think it was, I think it was I pretty more, equal. It was pretty even. What are you thinking? Of? I started ordering Boba's. Well, this is true. There, so that was a delicacy. So I must say, I was pampered. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There has to be she some went. kind of advantage, Annette. Come on, seriously. But you're playing yeah. this couple. Um, there's clearly some issues going on here. I don't want to give away too much because you learn stuff as you go along. Um, but Annette, you're you know you're playing this woman. Oh my God, my heart went out to her. Um, and at at first I thought, are these are these bad parents? Like, but they're mm. not. They have the reasons why they want to do what they where they go with you know go off the grid. But Annette, for you to play this kind of character, this woman, did you feel that you had to do some kind of preparation to play her, to go into kind of women or, or people who have this kind of mental health problem? I did. I, I did a lot of reading. I, I talked to a lot of people. Joe De Deitch's wife is a, sis is a sister, is, a, is like my sister, is a, a teacher. So I've talked to her about, you know, Alice is a teacher. So there's a lot of also, she's a human being and just what is it like to lose a job because you mistook someone for someone else? It's really outside. She wants to do good. She was a wonderful teacher. She's homeschooling her children. She loves her children and her husband. She wants to do uh, good. And, and the, you know, there's something holding her back that, that, nothing really can be done about and they try to she she she's met you know she has she receives medication for it, it it's yeah. only helping her so far and they try to change things up to make so they can fully function as a family and uh unfortunately they're unable to pull it together yeah, yeah. so it's it's it, it was you know it it was good it was good talking to people and it was good I was coming I was you know just coming out of that kind of first year new mommy fog with my son and postpartum and just really understanding you know parenthood and you're just in yeah. this cloud in a way just surviving you know not really not really I don't know well, it had to have been tough. Not really knowing. Like are, are you role. doing all the right? Are, are you doing all the right things? Are you able to give everything to your child and yeah. having those moments of complete defeat? And how do you get up from that? And how do you? Because the day goes on. The, you know, the child needs things, and you just yeah. gotta keep keep getting up and keep keep, keep you going. know yeah taking care of of things. And so it's the cycle kind of doesn't end. Sometimes it drives you. You know, it really drives you nuts, and it's good. It's, uh, you know, you're blessed when you have a partner in crime and when there's grandparents. And, and and so, you know, like scenes like when she's talking to Mary, her youngest, but thinks she's talking to her mommy and just, right. you know, it's kind of this mental health. It's just like this invisible beast and everyone's like afraid of it. Right. And to talk about it it's somehow always, you know, why does it have to be? I think we all have, you know, we, we all have some mental health challenges. Right. That, yeah. that we can relate to and so just you know imagining if there's more of that and, and and when it gets more pressure in that field and how hard it is to cope and how important it is to ha to have the proper help 100%. Uh, and so when yeah so when she's sitting there you know that scene working on that scene with my husband I remember um when she's talking and that scene actually got cut at some point because it just was so it was so vulnerable, you know, she's sitting there like a child herself thinking she's talking to her mom, who she really needs, you know, that moment yeah. of like, 
I need, you know, mommy, like I experienced that when I was giving birth, I was like, I just was calling from my mom, you know, and it's just, it's a really, it's, it's kind of really beautiful. And it's, it's almost like she's not doing anything wrong. She needs more love and more attention because of her fragile state. And yeah, can we, can we give that to her? And I think, you know, Milo's character does utmost. He's ready to do anything to, and and that's so wonderful, you know. They 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 do have a love between each other, hundred percent. Yeah, and that and, almost, yeah. that almost trumps it all. <laughs> well, no, it, yeah, for sure. I mean, look, Milo, you know, Dave, the guy that you play. At the end of the day, he thinks he's doing the best he can for his wife, for his kids. He thinks, you know, he thinks this is the answer. Clearly, it's not. Um, for you, how did you connect with this guy? It was a tough role. Yeah, no, I think it was. I think, you know, I think what Dave tries to do is he tries to, you know, you know, they tried the first way and it didn't, it's not going as planned. She's not happy with the outcome. I'm not happy, right? Um, the kids are suffering from that. Yeah. So, you know, I think he takes it upon himself to try a new avenue, a new path of trying something and seeing if he, you know, if they move to where they move to, is that going to fix everything? Yeah. you know um you know and and get out in nature and you know try to like you know push that you know that that endorphin happiness into their life um and uh obviously that's not the way it really goes is it um no, and no. i think and i think i think he goes so far to that extreme that he's so blinded by the fact that he's maybe not helping the family he's hurting the family yeah um and i think I think connecting to that character um, for, you know, because I've never been in that type of situation before was a little difficult, but I think, I think that the way I was able to connect to it was that, you know, it's, you do this on an everyday basis, you know what I mean? Whether there's something that's bothering you in life, you turn away from it and you ignore it. Right. Yeah. Or you know, if there's something, you know what I mean? If there's whatever's going on in your personal life, you, you know, if you're, if you're not looking at it straight on and taking care of it, it's going to creep back up on you and it's going to affect you somehow some way yeah. so i think i just kind of took that aspect of 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 you know the human condition of, of, of that and um and kind of just took a you know took a run with it and took a took a shot at it um yeah that so, was yeah, good that's how, yeah how my, I, like i said my heart went out to to everybody in this unbelievable um annette how did your relationship with milo like being brother and sister-in-law um facilitate your relationship as husband and wife on screen. Oh, it was it was just perfect. I couldn't have asked for a more method. I'm a I'm a bit of a I think we're all a bit method actors if you really break it down. But it I, I've been around him for six years before even I don't know ten years now. Yeah. So it just I can very well imagine what it's like being married to him. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, you know we we feel. He's like, they were so, Louis and him were so close. They, uh, w you know, growing up and when we had our son, I think Milo was, we called him daddy too. He just felt there was sort of like, it's like his child too. Yeah. Uh, so they had a beautiful relationship and that, and I think it read, you know, it, 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 it translated into making this film. And uh, I was lucky to, to be in that, in there. In, yeah. in their relationship you know <laughs> be within yeah. that that beautiful kind of brotherly love yeah, yeah i mean i think i think sometimes you know you, you you know say you have a relationship with somebody and it's an actress and you go on set say you don't get along with them or say you don't really just click with them or your personalities don't click offset yeah. what's that going to be like on set you know and and sometimes i feel like maybe you can see that sometimes it's like oh i don't really know you know there was a connection there but since you know we're like basically family we are family she's you know married to my brother yeah. um that we already know each other. we already know each other pretty well so it yeah. wasn't like a it wasn't a hard thing for us to kind of be like okay 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 imagine that we're married okay now cool but we already know each other so it was very easy i think to just kind of yeah kinda when, be, when, be we in that world. when we had to kiss in that scene that was my icebreaker by the way every 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 day we showed up on set i'm like hey i think you have to kiss me in this scene so we can really you know establish that you know we're married and yeah. we love each yeah, other yeah. alice and dave and you just shut up uh so then finally you know that that field scene came and we had to you know briefly you know uh <laughs> 
And it was funny. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm kissing him, but it feels like I'm kissing you. Is it because you? It was this weird thing of like, <laughs> wow, they are kind That's of the same. Weird. I mean, uh, I know you're so acting, but... it, was, it was a trip. <laughs> it was really trippy and sure. it was really fascinating because I'm like, when else do I get to kiss my brother in law? You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So that yeah, was yeah. the reason. That was the reason why the movie. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. About yeah. it. Because he's not going to let you do that again, right? No. Yeah, we have a really yeah. good relationship, don't <laughs> we? Well, listen, guys, I, I'm so sorry about the connection problem in the beginning, but I, I, hey, I have yeah. to wrap it up. I, I really appreciate your time. I, I tell you that this movie really, really was very, very good. And like I said, those two girls, oh my God, amazing. You got the gift from yeah. God there with those with those. Yeah, they, they, they did an amazing job. We, yeah, yeah it was, again, so real for them. They yeah. just that's really such a beautiful performance. It really was. Good. It was. It was really. It was really real for them. I mean, I feel like it was real, especially for Madison. Yeah. There were times when, when we were filming and doing shooting scenes, I'd look over at her, and I mean, you know, it. It. I mean, either she's so darn good that it felt real, or she really was going through those feelings, like amazing, like really, like really was, because she's such. You know, she's a young, she's a young, young girl. You know, with you know a, a bountiful imagination, yeah. on and off. So, um, so she did an amazing job. Well, you guys did too. Congratulations on it. It's a really excellent film. And thank you for your time so today. I pre appreciate your thank patience. You. Thank you so yeah. much. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.